Welcome to episode one of our 2015 adventure holiday. We hope you can come along with us to enjoy our holiday from the comfort of your own electronic window and view some of the 13,000 photos that we took. But first, a little bit about the technology. Boring. Compared with our 2013 adventure holiday to Canada, South America and Antarctica, we had to up the game considerably so that we could meet the challenges of sustained long haul holiday planning, navigation and photography backup. First up, a new camera. This is a Canon SX60 HS, a 65 times optical zoom camera compared with the previous one which was only 50 times. It's this sort of technology that allows you to get really close up to scenes for which would not normally be possible. In this particular scene I was standing 100 meters from a high security area where no photos are allowed. You can imagine what would happen if I was caught. Well how about this other scene where I was filming and the subject had no idea I was taking these shots. Next up is the GoPro camera. Most of the time I join this to a selfie stick and there's plenty of that kind of thing in the coming episodes. It's this kind of camera that really allows you to immerse yourself in a scene. For example, this one was taken at the Pitti Palace in Florence. And how about this one on our cruise ship? Or some high speed motoring on the Greek motorways. And I'm doing 130 kilometers now and the faster cars are doing 200 and then I get passed by a train doing 320. It was so quick I never had the opportunity to photograph anything like that. We are doing uh, 130. Next was an upgrade from my tiny Sony Xperia phone, which wasn't so tiny when I bought it, to the Samsung Galaxy S5, which flawlessly took us through 200 GPS points in 10 countries controlled the GoPro camera and lastly performed as a phone. Finally to reduce break, rather, rather than take uh, a laptop or a netbook, we took tablets, the iPad and the Android tablet, which performed all of our communication needs, back up, backed up our photos and also enabled us to run our business while we are away. A question we are often asked is, what was the highlight of our trip? Well, unfortunately, we didn't have any. Instead, we have objectives. And for Lillian, the objectives of our adventure holiday were to see her brother in Scotland, to visit the Louvre in Paris, to visit Versailles in Paris, to have a cup of coffee in a sidewalk cafe in Paris, to visit the Uffizi Museum in Florence, to visit the Academia Gallery in Florence, to go to Carthage, and finally to revisit Rome. And for me, as you can imagine, the objectives were totally different. And they were to ride on the world's latest plastic plane, the Boeing Dreamliner 787. To sail on the world's biggest cruise ship, 220,000 tons and 8,500 people on board. To ride on a high-speed train, at 320 kilometers an hour, to ride on the London Eye, and to meet two of my Facebook friends, which I have ne never met before, and finally, to catch up with old friends. The 2013 trip, two years in the planning, almost never happened. One year out from the departure, I was diagnosed with prostate cancer, and as part of that process, almost died. But that wasn't the end of the matter. The drugs and the radiation treatment left me with severe dementia and also severe arthritis to the point of being unable to walk. In fact, I couldn't even climb the stairs in my own home. So with three months to go, travel to the other side of the world seemed totally out of the question. But wait, there's more. One month from departure date, Lillian became severely ill, so she was sent to Australia to recover. 
but little hope of trebling long haul. So for a moment, it looked like no one was going to go to the flight to London and then on to Rome and take the Mediterranean cruise. Then, at the 11th hour, we decided to take the chance and get on the plane anyway. So Lillian flew back from Australia, and four days later, we found ourselves at the beginning of our 71-day adventure. So come along and live the trials and tribulations that we had to face that happened to us as we try and pull off what seems to be the impossible.